What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Tidal Enforcer Pro Fight Gloves. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so today we have these Tidal Enforcer Pro Fight Gloves in 10 ounce. Of course they're lace up because they are Pro Fight Glove. Uh, red, white, and blue color scheme with a little bit of black on here. And uh, these are really some underrated um, Pro Fight gloves I'm using for training. They're awesome gloves, to be honest with you. Um, these are full, genuine leather. Um, these gloves are made in China. Kind of give you guys a close-up. You can see it does have that title boxing logo that's uh, printed vert vertically on the back of the glove. You do also have the title single T logo, the triangle. That's actually embroidered on the back of the wrist with a flat wrist. And then rotating around, you do have a fully attached thumb there. Everything's leather, nothing synthetic on this particular glove. And the leather itself, you can see it has kind of a uh, textured grain to it right there. Uh, medium sized grip bar, it says official. Black piping on the, the palm and then blue piping around the thumb. Um, no ventilated holes. Title boxing has written down the wrist. Genuine leather made in China, this is 10 ounces. And then obviously on the inside here, uh, you can see it does have the tag right here for uh, six rounds for each um, time you can use it. And it's, it's actually marked off by the commission so that when this is fully marked off, then the gloves can no longer be used for a sanctioned bout. Um, but again, I just use it for training. I am not a pro fighter. So right here, that that's not something I would ever use. But for those of you that are pro, then obviously you know about that. And then you do have this uh, polyester nylon liner on the inside. It has a little bit of bunching up on the inside, especially in the fingertip area. Not a huge concern, uh, but just to show you, this is definitely more of a compact glove. Definitely one of the more comfortable fight gloves I've used. Um, and overall, I've really enjoyed using these for training. So let's go ahead and put these on the scale. See how much they weigh. They should be true to weight, being that a fight, these are fight gloves. They need to be on point with weight, otherwise they cannot be used for a fight. But again, just to show you the right glove. Actually, it looks really good for a Chinese-made glove. The stitching all looks really good. They really, did a good job of rolling and then reinforcing the seams on the side there. You know, the actual, the leather is actually really, really nice. I mean, it's a higher end title boxing leather that they use in a lot of their $100 plus gloves. So overall it looks really good. I like the way it looks. Uh, but the big thing with these is the way they perform. So let's go ahead and put these on the scale. Uh, change the unit over to ounces. And these are right at 9.3, so they're actually off. So these are 10 ounces, and they're bo this the right glove is 9.3. <coughs> Excuse me. And these are 9.4 ounces. So again, they're off by about half an ounce. I'm not sure if that's something they would look at or if they would not allow be these gloves to be used in a pro fight. I'm not sure what the, the guidelines for that is, but you can see they're about a half ounce off. Uh, but true to weight to each other, just... Uh, a little bit off on weight. So let's go ahead and do the review. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here. And today I'm gonna to be doing a review of these Tidal Enforcer Pro Fight Gloves. Got mine in 10 ounce. They also have this in eight ounce as well. Obviously it's a lace up closure only glove, being a fight glove. I uh, got mine in the red, white, and blue. And you can have it, I believe it comes in 11 different color schemes. So you basically have uh, every kind of color scheme you can think of out there when it comes to this uh, Pro Fight Glove. And I really like this glove because of how compact it feels, it's very comfortable. Has a very nice broken in feel to it but the composition of the foam is what i really like about this particular glove now design wise you can see here it does have that title uh, script logo that goes vertically on the back of the glove right there with the blue is the main color the, the black and then you do have uh, the flat wrist on the back right here with the embroidered title t with a triangle on the back of the wrist right there this is full genuine leather construction this glove is manufactured in china um, you do have a fully attached thumb that connects the thumb to the fist area. Uh, medium sized grip bar that has a decent amount of uh, you know, density to it. It doesn't collapse. Uh, and you can definitely feel it when you roll your, roll your hand over and make a fist. No ventilated holes on the inside here. Again, nothing synthetic, all full genuine leather. Black piping on the palm, blue piping right there as well with the red. And then you do have, I'd say about a half inch of padding um, along the wrist area. A lot of times I've noticed that some boxing, or should I say some pro boxing or pro fight gloves, um, sometimes they go a little bit lax with the padding on the, on the wrist area for the wrist support. 
And I think Tidal did a really nice job of actually getting about a half inch layer of, of padding right there. That way, when your, your hands are laced up, um, you really get that nice feel of protection and support. Um, the way this glove feels, this is more on the side of being a protective pro fight glove. So if you've had hand injuries in the past, you have delicate hands, or you've had um, just issues with um, your hands, you know, having some knuckle issues, any kind of soreness, um, then these gloves are definitely more on the protective side rather than a, a traditional uh, Mexican puncher style glove where they use mainly horse here and the padding is really, really soft. So you, you get more of a puncher's glove like with Cleto Reyes. These are a little bit more on the protective end uh, of that. So you do have about, again, a half inch on the back of the wrist and then the inside is gonna be that polyester nylon liner um, with the round tags on here that gets marked off by the sanctioning body for each time that these gloves are used. Once that's completely marked off, then these gloves can no longer be used for a sanctioned uh, bout. So design-wise, these gloves look really nice. Uh, Quality-wise, you know, these gloves are made in China, but I actually was really impressed with both the quality of the leather and the stitching on this. I didn't really find any flaws, to be honest with you, when I was looking at these gloves. And to be fair, I'm usually a skeptic when it comes to gloves that are, are made in China. A lot of times you have these mass-produced gloves, and so the attention to details aren't really there. Uh, but these gloves, are actually pretty nice. You can see that the, the leather's cut really nicely. Obviously the, the leather has a nice thick feel to it. it. Has more of a matte feel in terms of the kind of grain that they use on here. Um, and you can see here, everything looks really good as far as the leather goes. They did a nice job of rolling the leather on the seams and then bonding it to the inside foam. Um, but I don't see any issues as far as, um, you know, un unevenness when it comes to the cut of the leather. Right there, the grip bar looks really good. Um, the symmetry between the actual font and logos on both gloves are even. Um, again, you can see there, and the glove is really well balanced. You can see it's not too top heavy or bottom heavy, so the weight distribution is there. And a lot of that has to do with the amount of protection they put on the wrist support here. So you're balancing the weight out so that it's, no so, that it's not so front heavy or top loaded um, with padding. And uh, you can see here again, it looks really good. Um, all of the stitching looks really good on the lace-up area right there. The title boxing looks really good. Genuine leather's printed. Um, you can see maybe a little bit of an extra uh, thread that comes right there. And excuse my painted fingernail. If you guys have, if you have, if you have a daughter, then you know what that's all about. They like to paint your nails. So <laughs> uh, back on topic. Back to the gloves. You can see again the liner is done really nicely, and the stitching on the inside is done really well on the inside. You didn't have any issues with tearing i didn't feel any foam popping out on the inside of the glove so quality is actually really nice with this glove i was really uh, impressed uh, with how these these gloves came out uh, now the comfort of the glove sliding your hand in here another great thing about this glove is they're super comfortable your hand is in an optimal position thumb is excellent i don't feel like i, I, I jam at all it doesn't feel awkward don't get any kind of pinching around the thumb area so they do a nice job of giving you a, a good amount of room in this part, you know, this partition right here. A lot of times it's really tight and over time this really hurts. And even for training when I'm hitting the heavy bag or using these on the mitts, they feel really good. Uh, the fingertip compartment is perfect as well. Uh, wide enough to where you can get all your fingers in there and they don't collapse on each other, but not too too narrow to where, you know, you're, you feel like you're bunching up. The only the only drawback I would say is on the inside, the liner right around here is, is kind of bunching up. You feel like there's some excess. So I feel like they could have smoothed that out and made that a little bit smoother. Uh, but it doesn't really affect the performance. It's just more of, of a comfort with having your hand in here. And then you can see it actually has a, a pretty broken in uh, feel to it right off the bat. Um, I didn't have to do mu very much to get these to, to make a fist and to open my hand. So you can see you can parry shots and close your hand really nicely and really roll your hand over to, to make a fist with these gloves. So overall, they feel really great. I mean, comfort's there. Wrist support's really nice when these are locked in. Um, and I feel that these are, are definitely one of the more comfortable uh, profile gloves I've used. Uh, now, the protection and the performance of the glove is probably the best feature of this. They use a multi-layer foam padding with horse hair. So uh, I believe they use EVA with this as well as some horse hair. And what you get with this is um, kind of a balanced padding right here. You can see it has about medium density. It's not super stiff, but it doesn't collapse. So what was, ends up happening is you really get nice feedback with this glove. You can see the punch surface right there. Obviously, it's really nice, kind of flattened. It's not too rolled over. So you you make really good contact, but you get good crack and feedback, but you don't, it doesn't, you know, collapse all the way through that you get, you would get with a more of a puncher style glove to where it's super soft and your knuckles just go right through the padding. With this, 
there's definitely a layer of that EVA that really helps absorb a lot of that shock, but you also get a blend of feedback as well. So this is definitely on the 50-50 range of uh, being a puncher's glove as well as a protective. It's kind of right in the middle. Um, so for those of you that looks more looks looking for more of a balanced, smaller, compact uh, pro fight gloves, then I think you would really enjoy these just because of how they feel. You get that really good feedback on the bag, but you also get some good uh, shock dispersion with this glove. So overall, I really like that. Cost-wise, these gloves retail for $99 on the Title website. And that's kind of on the edge, or should I say, it's right there on the line of being um, more than what I would want to pay for a, a glove like this. However, I definitely think it's really one of the my more, more I wouldn't say favorite, I would say it's more of the more comfortable pro, pro fight gloves I've used and the padding is really good. So I'm not really afraid to say that I really would pay the $100 for these, but a lot of times if you sign up for Title Boxing, they have the 20% off if you sign up for the newsletter. So if you can get these gloves for 80 bucks, these are definitely great gloves for the price. Um, considering everything, the comfort of the gloves, the kind of padding they use, uh, it's really nice and balanced, really comfortable. I don't feel like there's any kind of pinch points with your hand, no discomfort, and you can really make a nice fist. The ergonomics are set up really nicely with this glove. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll make sure to put the link in the description box where you can find these Title Enforcer boxing gloves. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.